You know, it's getting pretty bad, pretty bad out there when you just simply have someone running for the president. And while they're running for the presidency, you have people that are pro-Trump. They go to Donald Trump rallies to support his cause and what he's doing. And then all of a sudden you have these people show up and they decide that they're going to, let me use this term, perpetuate injustices against you. You see, I'm not all for this Christian doctrine of turn the other cheek because from what I comprehend and from what I read, and if you understand the uh, proper methods and modes of interpretation, you understand the difference between exegesis and exegesis. And people have misapplied this turn to other cheek stuff. Let me tell you something. If I was personally at a Donald Trump um, event or rally, and I am pro-Donald Trump, I'm going to tell you what Pastor Dow would do. I'm going to show you what, how I define turn to other cheek. If somebody takes a rock or a bottle and they throw it and hit me, I'm bringing everything that I have ever been taught in my life to destroy that enemy with my hands and my feet and my elbows. I promise you that, including my knees as well. You got that right. That's called turning other cheeks because you have to turn it in order to get to the person who's doing you harm. And, and you know what? The law of liberty says harm no one. And these people are not following that. I can't help that your passions cause you to get inflamed and get enraged and incited and cause you to be vigorously angry against someone and stuff. But I tell you what, that's where it ends. Because the day you turn around and you start uh, perpetuating evil against someone, I don't care. My advice is that all you protesters be very careful. But this video is for the scope of the Donald Trump people. If I were you all, I'd carry two by fours, hack them off the four feet, and I'd hold them there. And if one of those protesters cut a fool, I'll take that two by four and I'll split it upside the back of their head or the top of their head. That's what I call it. I mean, think about it. Um, did America or does America turn the other cheek when somebody does something wrong against this country? No, they don't. No, they don't. Look at all the Christians today that carry guns. If somebody does any evil to their family, are they turn the other cheek? You be better wake up from this pacifism stuff, I'm telling you. All Pro Donald Trump people, get your head out of your religious conservative rear end and start doing the values of the country and doing the values of someone that has the right to defend their life, their liberty, and pursue happiness. And if someone wants to try to take away from your happiness and they cross the line and they uh, do some type of violence against you, you return that violence to them. 50,000 fold brain fury upon their head. Because after all, there is more pro Donald Trump people at the rally than there are con. Don't pay attention to this wicked country, especially the law enforcement. Don't pay attention to them and turn around and tell you, well, we don't need violence. Hold on. It's not violence when someone puts violence on you. When they cross the line and they do violence to you, it's called self defense. It's called self-preservation. That's what it's called. And you better learn how to preserve yourself because hey, the cops, nobody in this country, especially in government or law enforcement, none of them practices what they preach. They expect for you to be nonviolent. That's what they call it. And I don't understand this nonviolent junk. You hit me, damn it, you're going to get hit back. But you're going to get hit back with every single thing I got. And not only are you going to get hit back once, you're going to get hit back until... I am satisfied that the threat is eliminated. Now, I think that's sound doctrine. What said you?